people have spoken. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god, what are you doing? Why are you going out there with all those people and not social distancing? Ah. Not worried about it. Everything's going to be just fine. Don't worry. We're safe, we're healthy, and we strengthen our immune systems on a daily basis. Don't panic. It's all going to be okay. Let's roll into it. Well, as you can tell by the footage, it is obvious that I went to my very first protest today with my family, and man, what an experience it was. There was probably a thousand people there, and I went there today to support fellow entrepreneurs and business owners who own retail businesses, friends of mine who own smog shops and barbers and all kinds of small mom and pop businesses that help keep this country going, that help support what I do, and that have been feeding, helping me feed my family for year after year after year. And so today I went out there to show my support to them, to show my support to my wife and to my family. And as you can see by the footage, it was an incredible experience. I learned some things. Uh, I got to see the patriotism of America. You know, it's funny, you, they have that saying that they say, never say never. And this is one of those perfect situations where I told myself years ago, I'm never gonna protest. And today I actually protested. And you know what, it felt good to stand out there and fight for freedom and to speak my mind, and to, to practice my first amendment um, and being able to have a freedom of speech and be able to go out there and show how I feel about the current situation going on in our world. We are in the middle of a crisis and I could have been here making money, working on a tutorial video or doing something that had more value probably than this in terms of uh, business growth and positivity. But I wanted to show you that it's important to have values, it's important to stand up for what you believe in, and not just your daily day life, but in business as well. And so I went there to support my clients, my friends, the people that have been put out of business because of this, people who do events, party rental people, DJs, wedding, wedding DJs, all kinds of people that are out of work, that are struggling because of the current situation going on. And I am all about the safety and well-being of our older elders and other people in the world that have been Unfortunately, we've lost, have lost their lives, but on the same side, if you're healthy, if you're strong and you're taking care of your immune system and you feel like it's safe enough to go run your business and to continue to bring in food for your family, you should not be forced or required by any state or any government to do that. They have no right to tell you that you can't go out there and be, provide for your family, make money and run your business. So if you have a retail business, I want you to defy I want you to stand strong. I, I don't want you to comply, especially as of May 1st. It's been long enough. It's time to go out there, make a future, continue to build your future and take care of your family. That is your responsibility. That is my responsibility. I want to arm you with the right information. I don't want you going out there and being crazy and senseless. I want you to be smart. I want you to keep social distancing in mind. I don't want you to shake hands with people. Fist bumping, probably not even. I'm not doing any of those things. I'm still smart about what I'm doing on a day-to-day -day basis about keeping in contact with people. But on the flip side of that, I am not going to stop running my business. Thankfully, I have a business that's online, but many of my friends and probably the majority of my friends don't. So they're out of work, struggling, trying to figure out how they're gonna pay their bills. And it's beautiful for these people that are homeowners that own their home, that don't have to pay their mortgage right now, but there are millions and millions of renters that don't have that luxury. So where's their next paycheck? Where's their food coming from? How many people are gonna lose their homes? How much homelessness is gonna happen? How much loneliness, how much depression, how many lives are actually gonna be lost by this quarantine and by the lockdown. So I feel in my heart and in my soul that it's time to let this thing go, to let people go out and, and do business again, to turn the world back on because the whole world has been shut down over this thing and it's time to stop letting fear overpower what is really true. And the numbers do not lie. The Stanford research does not lie. There's a lot of misinformation out there by the media and you may have seen me post about that, but I want you to understand the facts is you need to go out there and do what you have to do for your family and don't worry about the government's repercussions because what you have to do is provide for them, feed them and keep a roof over their head. And that's exactly what I'm doing. So today I took a stand, I stood up for my family, stood up for my country, stood up for my state against the evil and the terrible 
what they call them, gruesome newsome. So that's what I got for you guys today. I know it's not a, a, a really positive business, inspirational, motivational, technical talk, but I wanna just really stress to you how important it is to stand up for what you believe. So I got the pleasure of doing that today. I wanted to share that with you. I hope you guys are safe out there. If you're staying home, awesome. If you're out and you're doing work still, even better. So I love you guys. Hope you have a blessed day. And as always, keep looking up.